Beacon sent me the Beacon mic, the Beacon mix, and the Beacon create. And we're gonna unbox them all. My name is Tree, and I make streamer support videos. Sweet smarter, not harder. So I guess I'm gonna put this on the bat with the other pillows and stuff like that. Haha. -ha. Let's unbox the mic. Beacon mic. That's his card? Beacon? And it's basically just telling me how to do it. These cables are wrapped like really nicely. What the heck? And then we have some other cables here too. And this seems to be a converter for this cable. Because it says PC and this is a USB, so now you can put it in the PC. I don't see a mic right now, but I'm guessing it's underneath here. Oh, there we go. We got the mic. Scrap it out. Uh, there we go. For a second, I thought they sent me the white one. But I like black better. <laughs> I just like black better on, on all my equipment, actually. I just love the style of black. I don't know. I just prefer that. So I'm very glad they sent me the black one. <laughs> they do have a white version, too, if you like black better. Okay, and I think that's everything in the box. Let's just check. Be sure. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, that's just good. So basically what's in it is a manual, you've got the mic, and we got two cables. One is an audio jack and one is a USB cable. Let's open up the beacon mix now. Let's put this out of the way. Here we go. Wow, okay. The manual seems to be on the box this time. There's one of these moist catchers in here to catch all the moist. But we don't need that after it, you know. And then we have the actual beacon mix here. Okay. And another cable. They wrap these so nicely. And it's another USB-C cable. USB-C to USB, so we can attach it in the back here. Cannot dish this box yet because it has the instructions in it. So I put this out of the way for a second. But the best thing we need to do is get rid of this plastic, right? It's this plastic layer. And this is the most satisfying part of the whole video. Ah, look at how clean. <laughs> Ooh, it doesn't seem to be sticky. Like we can, we can just stick it back on. Looks neat. We can just, we can just press the buttons. We can turn them. The next one we gotta open is the Beacon Create. This one is kind of similar to the Beacon Mix, but this one has some extra features. Let's open it up. Ooh, it looks kind of similar to the Beacon Mix, where we have the instructions here on the actual box and then we have the cables in here. This one does seem to be in here loosely and then we have the beacon mix in here as well. So this is also just to... Oh and a moist bag! We, we should not forget the moist bag. <laughs> I'm guessing that the instructions are going to be the same on both boxes so we can get rid of one of the boxes for now because we know how to do it if we see one of the boxes. <laughs> Let's go and peel it again! <laughs> so I have the beacon create and the beacon mix here. If you want to have this set up with the beacon mic, you do not need both of these, you just need one of these. And this is an upgraded version of this one, so you, you gotta decide which mixer you want. The cables that came with the beacon mix and the beacon create seem to be the exact same cables, so I guess you can just try them out with just one of the sets. So I'm gonna try and set this up on the PC and see how it works because it comes with software as well that can interact with these beacon mixers. Okay, I got the beacon create here and we're just gonna put it into the USB slot. Blum, blum, blum. The logo seems to be going on and it seems to be starting. And then obviously we want the mic because we need to use the microphone and we need those cables from the mic for it. So what does it say on the mic? Plug one end of the USB C cable into the back of the beacon mic, plug the other end of the USB cable into your computer. Use the provided adapter if needed. Plug your headphones into the beacon mic. Use the provided extension cable if needed. I think the app is just the same, so I'm just gonna install this beacon app setup. Okay, please disconnect all beacon mic. Oh, sorry. We were not allowed to have any beacon things in it while installing. <laughs> so don't do it. Unplug the things. Now we have to wait a little bit longer because, you know, I made an oopsie. Oh my god, we can see the mic! <gasps> Look at that. It looks pretty scary, so I'm just gonna put it back on. <laughs> I'm not an audio expert, okay? I'm just a streamer like you who likes to mess around with gear. 
<laughs> and likes to try out all kinds of stuff, but I'm not an audio expert. Okay, I think it's launched. I think we need to just put the USB in right now. We don't need the extension cable, so I'm just gonna put it back in here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This, this, this starts to do things. <laughs> this starts to have colors here, guys. And oh, oh, the PC too. <laughs> okay, we have some visual indicators here that show us things. And we got some indicators here on the PC as well, which the mic is muted. And okay, there's some things that are really small right now. Can I make this bigger? Yes, okay, nice. Because, you know, I might not be a grandma yet, but those, 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 those lines were a little bit too, too, too tiny for me. And we're gonna put in this ca these cables here. And this can go into the microphone. And it starts to light up. RGB lighting, guys. RGB lighting. Okay, hey. Hey, I saw something. It went up there. I don't know what happened with it. Uh, but we're just still having ourselves through, the, through here. So we can put our headphones in this jack. However, I can't hear myself when also putting the headphones in. Uh, it's always kind of like awkward recording yourself while trying to test the microphone because you don't know whenever it picks things up and then all of a sudden you're gonna be heard twice or you totally messed up and didn't record any audio. So bear with me for this one. <laughs> what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try it edit in OBS. Okay, so if we press add and then audio input, we should be able to add the default. Okay, <laughs> we should be able to add the beacon mix mic. Test, test, test. Doesn't seem to do anything yet. It also seems to be red. I think that means that we're muted. <laughs> so here we have all these mics that can be attached. And we're gonna need to search for the beacon one. This microphone, boo. So I think that's the beacon one. Hello. So if you want to use this microphone, it's probably smart to uh, boot it up with startup because then, you know, your mic starts working with startup. Mic chain. Oh, look. Like, we see, like, if we talk through here. Test, test, test. Yeah, if we talk through here, we can see what's happening. So this program seems to be picking up my, my mic right now. We could also re uh, record something to listen back to. So this seems to be going all right. And we can use a de and stuff like that. Uh, we can use all kinds of filters and put a base on it. So like color. Oh, can we like put the color? Yeah, we can change the color on the mic. Look. So you can put it to the colors you use for your stream and it looks fancy. <laughs> we can also have a gradient or reactive meters, sparkle, cycle. Oh, cycle school. Oh, hey, look, okay. It's picking up my mic and we see it come in here right now. And it's going to the audio mix, uh, the audience mix. So I think, hello. Oh, okay. So if you turn this on now, now we actually hearing this mic and I don't know how it sounds because I'm not hearing it. You you guys hearing it. So this is the raw one, but you can also set it on beacon audience. I've got so many of these outputs. Beacon mix create, beacon mix create. We need audience, audience mix. There we go. And okay, this seems to be the output of the program. So everything is going here we can send the music for example to this track and then we can put it up for ourselves or put it down for the stream and then we know how loud it is if we react on it we can also see we can also see them chains in here so these levels will also change on the actual device and we can turn them so for example the mic we can turn them down <laughs> and up with these knobs if we have more than four, there is a cycle through buttons here on the beacon create. Uh, you see that on the, the right side, but two buttons there. And if you click on it, we can cycle through the actual um, mic and chat volume. We can mute ourselves by pushing on any of these buttons underneath the knobs. Um, so the yellow one for the microphone right now. You can see the corresponding colors up here as well. Wondering if, we, yeah, we can change them. <laughs> we can change them to any color and then the button will actually change to the red as well if we make it red. So the way we can get our music to come into this track, we click on here. We go to the music we have. For example, um, let me play some music. Otherwise it will not be in the windows. So you need to make sure that it makes a sound before you actually do it. So now we're having a sound and it comes into our window. So if we click here, now we would be able to see VLC player here. And then we have to set the output on beacon here. Music beacon mix. If I press this, I now it comes in here at the music mix. You guys can hear it, right? 
I can put it up for myself. Or for the stream, if you guys, or less hard for the stream. Because this is the audience mix. This is going to the audience that's watching you. Let me put off the, the music. <laughs> So that's basically how we can get the music in a different track. We can do that with the voice chat as well. Just set your Discord or other software to be outputting on the Beacon chat track. And then we have system sounds should be standard on the system from the Beacon mix. We can also add another game. And then uh, the track is called game. So you need to make sure that you find game in the window settings. Browser. You will find browser in the, the window settings. And these we can just set on whatever we want if you have aux one and two those are just extra channels that you can set things to for example your capture card with your gaming audio from your switch instead of like the game that you do on the pc for example here's the routing table where does all the audio go to the beacon mix basically works the same however you can't switch through profiles so you can't have more than four things on it at the same time if you've seen the Elgato Wave software or you've seen Voice Meter Panena, this software is kind of similar to it. So you can set all the things to be different for the output for the stream as that you hear yourself, which can be very, very helpful because like otherwise you might hear it like super loud yourself, but the chat doesn't hear it at all. And that's a problem because you don't want to blow your own ears. <laughs> I am really wondering how this microphone sounds like. So um, I think I'm going to listen back to it real quick. I'm super impressed with it. Good quality, good quality. And I haven't even put on the de and stuff like that. 